I'm Courtney and I'm a registered clinical counselor. I think we've all been taught in a way to be terrified of our emotions, but we've also never given ourselves a chance to kind of go through the emotions and then see how we come out on the other side of them and what happens. So then it might come out in other ways. We might be compensating and coping in other ways that may usually aren't very um, healthy for us. So whether it's even just like distracting ourselves all the time. So always needing to be around people and maybe have a television on or something so we don't deal with our thoughts or, you know, more intense things like drinking or using other substances or, you know, shopping too much or, you know, filling that void somehow so we don't go there with our emotions. But what I like to do is to ask people like, well, have you ever gone there and what do you think would happen? And reality is, is that if you kind of do examine your emotion and kind of just let yourself feel it, you go through it so much faster and then you get on with your day and you move on to the next thing actually so much faster than if you just kind of like, if you think you have control over it by like, no, no, we'll deal with it later, we'll deal with it later. I think it's so important to have a safe and open environment with your counselor, but, and to feel that, that you can trust them, but also to feel like it's like almost like a friend that you're talking to. I believe one of my strengths is to try and make people feel comfortable from the get-go. I think that when I was younger, I often experienced, you know, the typical uh, uncomfortableness you can feel with certain cliques or certain groups, and I just never liked that. So I always wanted to be the same person, whether you met me here or you met me, you know, outside my practice, like at a restaurant or something. So being the same consistent person, I think, makes a big difference. And just being real.